nothing to stop this being the best day ever nothing to keep up um, anyone who watched the video a couple of weeks ago, you might remember me mentioning Oklahoma. It's Oklahoma out there. Um, well, yeah, we're going to get to that today. But before we get to that, um, I want to tell you the story of one of my favorite days ever. Let me show you something. Okay, one of my favorite days of all time. The 27th of June, 2005. I was 15, I was with three of my buddies, no adults, no parents, just us, to go see one of the greatest bands of all time perform live. You two. Come on, take it around the back. Quite excited. We were quite excited, yes. It was our first ever big concert, and um, if anyone who was sitting around us, I'm so sorry. The concert was incredible, but it was just. One of those days that I'm never ever gonna forget. Now, the reason why I wanted to show you that was because I wanted to give you some context as to just how big my love affair with U2 has been over the years. U2, they became that band for me. They became that band that I had to buy all of their albums. They became that band that I had to learn all of their songs. The point is that U2 were the soundtrack for my transition from being a boy to becoming a man. They always will be my favourite band of all time. So I hope I've, I've painted a bit of a picture in terms of my love affair with U2. Me, U2. Big fan. With that in mind, I hope then you'll appreciate just how great a surprise it was when I was called down to studio and work a few weeks ago and I was told this. You and you alone are a very special invited guest at the first date of the forthcoming world tour by U2, which will be in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Is this a joke? No, it's not. It's not it a joke. It is not a joke. What? It is not. I. What? This is true, Carl. So, obviously, I'm I'm back from the trip now, but um, it was. Wow, like. Seriously, seriously wow. This video, it's genuinely not an attempt by me to be like, oh wow, look how amazing my life is. I fully appreciate how insanely lucky I was to get to experience this. I suppose I just wanna share whatever I can with you. This video, it's it's also not a day-by-day -day vlog of the trip and what we did and a review of the concert. I've already done those videos. They're on the 2FM YouTube page. I'll link them below. The main reason for this video is to share with you definitely my favorite part of the entire trip. So just to explain, I was actually officially there in a press capacity. I say that because even though I was there for work, it, it did not feel like work at all. Because I was there on a press trip, we got an opportunity to go for dinner. It's even saying this is mad. We got an opportunity to go for dinner with The Edge and Adam Clayton out of U2. I was shitting it. I was shitting myself because when you have looked up to people since you were a boy and you hold them like up here, I didn't want that ruined. I was just, I was worried that they wouldn't live up to what they always had been for me. These people who are these rock stars who you always looked up to. What if they weren't nice people? Um, I'm very happy to report to any U2 fans out there, they were. 
it was just for me it's like in terms of my career it is going to be one of the greatest things ever I just realised I'm wearing the same shirt today as when I met them that's a bit awkward the other thing I wanted to share which is is that um, I really enjoy making these videos and I really appreciate the fact that there's you know some people out there who you, you take the time out of your day to watch something that I've created when I was meeting the edge I actually uh, realized that I had learned a very valuable lesson through making these videos anyone watched the video a few weeks ago where I had the opportunity to to meet and to get a photograph with Casey Neistat one of my other heroes and um, well it Casey, nice one, man. Nice to see you. Thank you. Take nice care. to meet you. It could have gone better. See you. Thank you. Take nice care. to meet you. God, it's still so cringy. <sighs> I'm glad to report that I've learned from that lesson. When I was meeting Edge, first of all, uh, as you've seen already, I did. I asked for my picture. I didn't absolutely hack myself and go Ugh, and just forget to ask. Nice to meet you. When I was meeting him, I remember thinking to myself, when are you ever going to be in a room? with the Edge from U2 again. <laughs> really asked for his autograph. So I'm finishing off chatting to Edge and then one of his minders comes over and kind of said, lads, the car's waiting for us outside, we gotta go. So I'm thinking, ah, I've got the photo with him, but I haven't got an autograph from him. Uh, I, something to sign, I need something for Edge to sign. Uh, uh. Obviously, I wasn't externally doing this, this was all gone on my head. I need something for him to sign, no paper. Uh, what will I get him to sign? Well, I mean, it was all I had. Okay, I got him to deface an official governmental document, which I'm pretty sure is illegal, but I got the Edge's autograph. The point is, this blog genuinely taught me something. You know, sometimes in life, you, you just have opportunities thrown at you, and you got to take them. Take the opportunities. I, I seized that opportunity. So yeah, I suppose doing these videos has proved... Um, has proved quite useful in a way that I didn't expect it to be quite useful. Okay, finally, if anyone is a U2 fan and you have tickets to go and see them at some stage this year, all I can say is it's incredible. And um, if you want to have a look, I have a highlights video from the concert. I'll link that below and link it at the end of this video. That's it for this week. Thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed that. If you did, if you could hit the like button, that would be awesome. And it would be even awesomer. That word. It would be even awesome, awesomer, or more awesome. It would be absolutely awesome if you could also hit the subscribe button. That would be class as well, um, and we could become friends there. Also, if you'd like to say hello in the comments below, if you've gone to see you too, or if you want to know anything about the gig, let me know, and uh, I'll be happy to get back to you. And uh, yeah, thank you very much. See you soon.